Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everyone. Today we're doing something a bit different. We're building and tasting a vegan charcuterie board. Now, if you don't know what a charcuterie board is, it is just a meat and cheese board. We're gonna throw some fruits in there if we can manage. But all of the meats and cheeses that we're using today, they were not made by me. Uh, if we were to do that, it would probably take like two weeks to put this together. So I wanted to make this an easy thing that you could just pick up at the store. Uh, I did get most of this from Whole Foods and a local health food store uh, called Rainbow Blossom in Louisville, Kentucky. So we have a nice variety right here in front of us. We have something from pretty much every brand. The main thing to keep in mind when creating a charcuterie board is to just mix it up with the textures and the flavors. All right. Let's put this together. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook. Now you don't have to cook this, this is ready to eat, but we're gonna cook this field roast Italian garlic and fennel sausage only because I want it to be either warm or room temperature just to differentiate itself from the colder meats and cheeses as well. Just give it some variety. This already smells amazing. All right, let's start building our board. Now. I'm using a regular cutting board. Mine's pretty large. You can go out and buy one of those other fancy boards if you want, ones with the handles on it or the larger ones. They're about 20, anywhere from like 15 to 20 bucks. All right, so these crackers are Mary's Gone Crackers. They are black pepper crackers. And the reason I picked these was because they were fairly simple. They are brown rice and quinoa, flax seeds, sesame seeds, a bunch of good stuff. Now these crackers are Himalayan salt almond and sunflower seed crackers. You want to get kind of milder crackers, I think. So the Himalayan salt crackers are very, they're very hearty. Nice, simple flavor. The Mary's Gone Crackers black pepper crackers, as you can hear, are a lot more crunchy. Also fairly simple, very light black pepper taste. And we have our pumpernickel bread. Now, I've never had this. I don't know if I've ever even had pumpernickel before. So I'm really curious to see what this tastes like. Mmm. It smells so good. And that sausage, by the way, is, like I said, field roast, Italian garlic and fennel. It's crafted with eggplant, onions, and sweet peppers. All right, on to some cheese. We have our Violife Epic Mature Cheddar Flavor Block. Now, I'm not gonna leave this as a block because it sounds kind of boring. So we're gonna use a donut cutter and shape it into a wedge because we wanna get extra fancy. Violife is one of my favorite brands of cheeses. They have amazing Parmesan cheese, if you've ever gotten that. Uh, I mean, it tastes just like Parmesan, it's crazy. All right, now we have our tree line. This is our soft cheese. It's plant-based French style cheese is what it says. This is creamy scallion, which sounds yummy. These packages aren't very pretty, so I'm actually gonna scoop some out and put it in a little bowl. All right, next up we're gonna do our other tree line, which is an herb garlic. Should be a pretty simple, nice, subtle flavor. All right, let's go to some more meat. We have some Italian style pepperoni. Now this one, like I said, I'm really excited about because it's Sweet Earth and Sweet Earth has one of my favorite burritos of all time. It's a Big Sur breakfast burrito. And I didn't know they made deli slices. And they're huge things of pepperoni. Mmm, they smell just like pepperoni too. And we have our field roast mushroom and balsamic. These are deli slices as well. We're gonna roll these up little rounds. Now these are pretty thick slices and they tend to break a little bit so th these might be a little harder to roll up at least into small ones so make sure you do it large. Now in my opinion a really good charcuterie board is gonna be packed. It's gonna be so full you don't know what to do with it. All right next up we have our tofurkey roast beef style. I've never had this before I didn't know they made it so I thought I'd get it. I love Tofurky brand. I have, uh, we get, you know, we do an actual Tofurky roast every Thanksgiving pretty much. I know some people don't like it. It's probably, it's tradition and it tastes delicious to me. So we always do Tofurky at Thanksgiving. And then usually for Christmas, we'll do some other plant-based roast. It's 
smells interesting. Now for my experience, tofurkey is a little bit easier to deal with. Yes, they are. So these are a little bit thinner and they're much easier to roll. Now you might think it's weird to put a roast beef deli slice on a charcuterie board, but I don't. All right, our next cheese is our Miyoko's Creamery cultured vegan cheese, which is pepper jack. Now these are just slices. So you can, if you wanted to cut these into like little squares, you could do that. And last but not least, we have our olive bruschetta spread, which I'm excited about as well. I love olives and a hot pepper spread. Now I got this from Meyer, believe it or not, and uh, it's vegan. Now because we have so many savory components right here, we want to sweeten it up and have kind of like a palate cleanser. So I have an apple I'm going to chop up as well as some grapes. We're just going to spread them wherever we can, wherever you can find room, because it's nice to have a break between all of this saltiness and really heavy stuff. All right, let's try these. I have to say this looks and smells delicious. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start off with one of these mature cheddar cubes. They taste good. They almost remind me of like an American slice. They taste, it tastes good. All right, I'm gonna try this field roast sausage. Mmm. Has that wonderful Italian sausagey taste. Grape. All right, I'm gonna try one of these mushroom and balsamic deli slices. I'm gonna put it on some pumpernickel bread. I'm gonna put pepper jack, but I'm gonna taste this first. There's a sweetness to it. They have good flavors. I can't really put my finger on what's coming out in it, but they're unique. I'm not used to it. It doesn't taste like mushrooms, so don't worry about that. It's the Miyoko's pepper jack cheese that is made from oat milk. It's a very kind of rich flavor. It has a good pepper jack taste to it though. I'm gonna try some of this bruschetta spread. Mm. If you're an olive lover, you get this. It's Davina brand. It has olives and capers. Um, and that's pretty much it. And oil. So this pumpernickel bread tastes like healthy bread. It's not bad, it's very dense, and it's good bread. All right, I'm gonna try some of this creamy scallion tree lion soft cheese. Mm, it's very scallion-y, which I like. Now tree lion, I think is one of those soft cheeses that's been around for, I think they were kind of one of the first soft cheeses that I ever remember seeing in the store. I know they have different brands now, but Treeline was kind of like the original, so that's why I got it. This is the garlic herb tree line. Very subtle, just kind of a very nice basic soft cheese. All right, this roast beef tofurkey slice. It smells interesting. The smell of it is almost like a chemically smell. It's not a very strong flavor. I probably wouldn't get it again. It's not horrible, but I'd much rather eat any of the other tofurkey slices. Oh, pepperoni. I haven't tried that yet. I can't believe I'd skip that. It smells just like pepperoni. It's a little spicy. My initial thought was way too much fennel, which is kind of the go-to to make things taste like sausage. I get that. It's almost relying too much on it, in my opinion. I think the last thing I haven't tried is the hot pepper spread. So I'm gonna try one of these almond Himalayan crackers. A little sweet. It's more sweet than peppery at the moment. I'm wondering if it's gonna come up. Yeah, it's not, it's not terribly hot. I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit spicier than it is. It has like a, just a slight, slight spiciness to it. The best thing about a charcuterie board is you can mix and match everything. Everything pretty much goes with everything. And that's the fun, fun part about it. All right, y'all. As you saw, it wasn't hard to make a charcuterie board, especially if you're just buying the stuff. You're not making everything. 
All of your friends will think you're fancy. You put it together, use some of your artistic flair, fill some of the gaps with fruits and veggies, make sure you get a variety of textures and sizes of things, and that's it. It's pretty easy. So I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. I'll see y'all next time.